Climate change is fast becoming a global emergency, a pandemic of sorts. It is a reality that is forcing many countries to make drastic adjustments in energy production and consumption. Clean and green energy transition is fast replacing fossil fuels in several countries of the world. This global response to carbon emissions notwithstanding, many homes in Nigeria still depend on charcoal as fuel for cooking. The Melamba Coal Company in Kokonda Nasara State produces more than 100 bags of charcoal every week. It is a family business run by natives who are oblivious of the effect of their enterprise on the climate. I reach in 15 years and I do this kind of business. Anya Daniel understands the effects of charcoal production on her health, but has no idea it is destroying the environment. Go pack firewood for bush, carry corn fish, water, pool for ground, carry garma, fish. The time you go open on myself, fire, heat, heat, they worry you for your body. See how we don't leak duka. Like we men, you know, go feel power, you know, go feel power because that, that's heat where they, they, if you put water, that heat where they come out. If the heat catch you well, well. If you no drink milk, with a pan oil, this thing. Yusuf Shama tells me how years of burning firewood has impacted the fertility the of the land. Of the to farm in the place where have corn charcoal, all the crops will not bear it because that place is no more fatter. More than seven years now I'm into the business. In those seven years that you have been cutting trees to produce charcoal, have you planted any tree? No. Why? Not for us to cut and buy, we will not be able, we don't have that money to buy a tree and plant. Once a densely forested location, Melamba Coal Company now displays remnants of felled trees. The situation in several communities across the country where charcoal is produced. Distant sound of jigsaw got me moving further into nearby woods. It is one of the many locations from where Melamba Coal now gets its supply of raw materials. Fresh felled trees for charcoal. Yusuf Bala is the architect of this destruction. As we cut, you know, in our bush now, as we cut some small, small one, they grow. That's why we know the plant. Now we know get seed we will the plant. That's the only thing. One could not help but wonder if there are no regulations to discourage unfettered deforestation for cooking fuels. Minister of Environment, Mohammed Mahmoud Abubakar tells me there are. Uh, as we stand, charcoal, exportation of charcoal has been banned. Uh, forest product suspended. The situation, I found out, is a dilemma of sorts, a battle between livelihoods and sustainable use of natural resources. So we are trying to adapt in our own way and give our people alternative source of not only livelihood, alternative source of fuel as well. Experts in the environment sector tell me that this dilemma can be resolved by providing clean cook stoves as alternative to the use of charcoal. Firewood and all those unsuitable fuels are leading to 94,300 deaths. Annually. Nigeria is upscaling from, you know, domestic and uh, traditional cooking methods to LPG. But how soon before the likes of Anya battling smoke-induced health challenges? Shama secretly bemoaning the loss of his fertile land and Bala waging jigsaw war against trees get the needed alternative cooking fuels and better sources of livelihoods to change their line of business. Onengiye Fine Face, NTN News.